Hello, my name is Mary Kay Worth, and this is Westward Lessons. I traveled for four weeks in February of 2020. As a disabled individual, I thought I was just going to learn about what cool places I was gonna go to. And I learned a lot more things. So I wanted to share that with you here. I hope you enjoy. Since I now live in Virginia, I only had to make a change from Buffalo to Norfolk. So I went from Norfolk to Nashville to Las Vegas. There was a little before story though. I'll tell you that next. Before I got on this plane, I had overheard someone say, I can't believe she dares to go by herself. Who does she think she is? And she's going to encroach on my space. She's so big. So I made a decision after I cried a bunch and slept on it. The next morning I called Southwest and I got a second seat for myself. So I wasn't going to encroach on anybody's spaces. And Southwest, because the flights were not full, reimbursed me. I was a happy woman. I was on my way to Vegas. I had a scooter waiting for me in my room and I thought I was just gonna call a cab but a tour guide said oh no you can actually ride your scooter right across the street to pick up the spot and go to a stop on hop off and so I thought I'd do that this was gonna be fun so I rode my scooter across the street to the bus stop where I could get on my scooter with the bus for this hop on hop off. Guess what? They never came. Guess what? They'd already stopped for the day. Guess what? They wanted me to go someplace else, two blocks away, my first night in Vegas. I'm thinking, no, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna go home. I literally was waiting at the stoplight, waiting for me to be safe to cross. I got halfway across when it was my turn, and guess what happened then? I went through five green, three yellow, and two red, and I stopped in the middle of the road. I yelled for help. People didn't hear me. I remember putting my feet down. The next thing I know, I saw 16, which meant I had 16 lessons before the light would change. I went across the street safely and don't know how I got there. I believe angels took me. What do you think? I was determined not to let what had just happened color my evening and my beginning of Vegas. So I went back to my original plan and I called a cab. He came and took me on the tour of the city. My rollator was in the trunk and he took me everywhere. He showed me all the places I wanted to see, including where the Beatles Love Show was at at the Mirage, where the Walgreens was where I could get my prescription refilled, and where the MGM Grand was where I would see David Copperfield. It was a really great night. We even ended up at Old Town Las Vegas. Yes, after Old Town Las Vegas, we made our way back to the hotel. I slept really well. I had a big adventure ahead of me. The next morning started with a phone call during breakfast. I called, scoot around, told them what happened to me, and within 45 minutes, they delivered a new scooter to me. I was ready to see Vegas. The next pictures show you some of that before my next experience.
I was at the Mirage to see Beatles Love. I had bought great tickets. I was excited. Soon I would be there for this experience. So I present my tickets. The usher takes me in. I'm supposed to leave my scooter and walk down six flights of stairs hanging onto the bars and hanging onto things to get into my seat in the middle. This was not handicap accessible. I was told I could stay on my scooter. I told her this is not acceptable. So they moved me. I had to go up three sets of stairs and then hang onto the, the seats to get to the middle. But then the seats were uncomfortable and they were narrow and the seats didn't come up. So I said, I'm uncomfortable. Next thing I know, they were removing two seats and I had to make my way back with help. We won't talk about the fact that I almost fell twice and I went really slowly, but boy, oh boy, I was glad to be back on my scooter and pulled into my spot. And honestly, the show was wonderful. Okay, so it was on my bucket list. I actually went to Treasure Island. I had bought in advance. Brunch, drag, show tickets. Oh my goodness. It was so much fun and I had so many laughs. It was a great experience. The first tickets I even ever bought for this trip was to see the Hoover Dam. It was going to include a boat ride and my children will tell you how much I love boats and I could get my equipment on there and it was going to be accessible and all that. Well, guess what? It was not as I was told. I was sold another bill of goods. And you know, I decided in the end, rather than fight with anybody except for to get my money back, which I did, the I would just count the picture I took out of the airplane as me seeing Hubert Dam and going and doing some other fun things instead. That's exactly what I did. Some of the best experiences are spontaneous experiences. While I went to the MGM Grand to pick up my David Copperfield tickets, guess what I found? I found the Hunger Games exhibit. Oh my goodness, I had a ball. I was like a kid in a candy shop and it couldn't have been better. I couldn't have smiled bigger. I couldn't have bought more. It was just plain fun.